you are looking at a Google Slides and we are going to see a new text feature that's turned up. So just as a, as a point almost like of a, a blog type thing, I'm using this thumbnail school bus yellow, which is just a my own private Google Slides document to throw in a thumbnail for YouTube. And this is one that I haven't actually started at the moment. I'm speaking to you on a Zoom H2N. Um, as I work through these things, I'm seeing new things happen. So for example, here we have some text on screen. If I click the text box, and this is what I've spotted today, then there is a format options that appeared on the top right. Now that's normal. We have got size and position that I covered in a previous video. Remember with all the width and the height and the scaling and the lock, the aspect ratios. Then the next one um, right to the bottom is drop shadow and reflections. We've covered that quite a long time ago. That's not really new. Now this one here called text fitting. I think I've never seen it before, which is fine because I've just tried to teach myself it. And it's a really interesting, valuable, missing piece in the puzzle that has been solved in many ways. And I'll tell you what I mean is that for simplicity, I've actually put down um, the quick brown fox jumping over the lazy dog, which is obviously known worldwide. The yellow page, by the way, as a size is 50.8 by 28.57 centimeters, which happens to be my personal setup for the normal 1920 by 1080. Now, this is relevant because um, we can see that we can format some things and get the text exactly where it's going to go. Um, that you wanted to go. So if I show the guides, my personal setup here, for an example, on this one there is I put the thumbnail slide into these guidelines that I've set up already. Now let's say I wanted to do exactly the same with this box, and I have done it, and that is that the blue text box is over those guidelines. However, what we can find is that if I and I don't even need to highlight it. I can do it if I want to, but if I, I'll just click anywhere. We notice top right of the screen, indentation. Now at the moment, if I wanted a two centimeter indentation, I can hit two. And the moment I tap, or I didn't even have to tap, the moment I hit two, you can see that there is um, a two centimeter indentation. If I wanted to do one on the right, tell you what, let's go back to zero. This is how we can learn these is if I selected everything and I tried to put it to justify, which is which one is it? this one here, which is justify, you can see that it fits quite nicely already. However, if I wanted to do a left indentation of say three this time, you can see that three has jumped over. If I wanted to do three on the right, three has jumped over and it looks like that. That's one way we can do it. We could also hit zero and hit zero. Okay, so the one that I'm gonna to come to in a second is the special, which is the first line and hanging. The reason I'm coming to it in a moment is it takes a little bit more time than actually the padding because padding is pretty obvious. And that is that if you go to tap to zero, which is top and left zero, then what we've got is that the T up here of the quick is literally zero, zero padding. That's where the font butts itself up to, to the top, to the left. And we can do this similar thing all the way over. Let me just restore those so we can see where we are. 0 0.25 for that one, done. And then that's that. Now, if you notice the quick brown fox just sits at the top there, done on these parameters. Now, the interesting thing is that if you actually select all the text and just watch for a moment where it says left and right indentation of zeros, if you go up here to the top and click the aligning and aligning, it will still move around. But the one that I'm interested in, yeah, here we go, is, oh, let's do that again down to there. Yeah, that's fine, that's fine. So top up here, if I, increase the indentation. Notice top right of screen it says zero and zero. Hit it, the numbers are changed. 1.27 look. If I increase it again, 
it's doubled to 2.54. So the numbers are changing. Before, you just tended to hit tab or hit increase indent, but we, I don't think, had these numbers on the right-hand side. So quite interesting stuff if I wanted to decrease it and then decreased it. Right, last thing we need to look at is the padding. So, sorry, the, the special. Now at the moment we've got the quick brown is top left on justification, which is fine. If we hit special, and all I need to do is hover over the first line, which says indentation of the first line of a paragraph. Now if I hit first line, what happens is that I've indented in that portion by one centimetre, 1.01. I, I think it was says 0 0.01 and I added the one earlier. So let, let's say if I wanted to do a two centimetre indentation, hit the two and that's how it's happened. The first line has popped itself in. Nice. Now, if we wanted to come out of that and do the hanging this time, then what happens is the top line has stayed put butted up to the top left, but all the rest of the text has jumped out by the allotted two centimetres. So if I put down four here, it's starting to be quite interesting because if I did something like, say, eight, then what happens is that you might have the text, OK, the, the text over the bottom has, has jumped off, but I've got a very interesting first line and maybe I can put an image or something in there or, or we just want to, to do it... Um, in a style that suits us. So that's a bit silly, let's put one back in and then go down to none. The point of this is we've been here and we're learning another new feature which translates very, very easily between Google Slides and also identically over to Google Drawings which is exactly the same. Notice, and be careful with this one, notice that my format in my main account is in centimetres, top right look, centimetres, 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 because my language has been set up, I think, for UK, United Kingdom, but I think this second account of mine, which um, has been sent in through one of my other accounts, the original creation in Google Drive drawings was actually done in, I think, a US language, which is on the right hand side here, it's actually done in inches. So it doesn't matter about pixels, of course, or points, but if you are looking to format in certain um, standard length measurements, i.e. inches on that one and thumbnails on that one, but I think this is a really, really super, super feature to get absolute precision with Google Slides and Google Drawings.